You are just, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by command of God our Savior and of Christ Jesus our hope, to Timothy, my true child in faith. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and in Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to him who has strengthened me, Christ Jesus our Lord, because he considered me trustworthy in appointing me to the ministry. I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and an arrogant man, but I have been mercifully treated because I acted out of ignorance in my unbelief. Indeed, the grace of our Lord has been abundant, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, you are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Your word, O Lord, o is truth. 
consecrate us in the truth alleluia 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 the lord be with you a reading from the holy gospel according to luke Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher. But when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splendor in your brother's eye? but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own how can you say to your brother brother let me remove the splinter in your eye when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye you hypocrite remove the wooden beam from your eye first then you will see clearly to remove the splendor in your brother's eye the gospel of the lord great philosopher Socrates he said way back know thyself he says self-knowledge or self-conquer is the biggest conquest in the modern psychology it costs the same you know it speaks about self-knowledge know who you are but when we speak about theologically self-knowledge is something different it is not i as a person knowing what i want my needs what i want to do with my life theologically it's completely different We come to know oneself when we come face to face with God. We have a beautiful example in the first reading of today. Paul speaks about his own life. Now before his conversion, he was a persecutor of the Christians. On his way to Damascus, he met the risen Christ. And when he came face to face with him, that's what realized that he was a sinner. And in today's reading to Timothy, he says, he received mercy from the Lord. Now we come to the gospel passage. Now Jesus is, you know, in a way, chiding the scribes and the Pharisees. He says, one blind person cannot lead another blind person. He was, he was referring to the scribes and the Pharisees. They are trying to lead one another. It's like one blind leading another blind. We can really, I can really know who I am if only when I come face to face with God. Otherwise, I will be comparing myself with others. You know, that's a kind of, uh, in psychology they call it, that's a kind of 
boosting of one's ego. You know, I look at my neighbor and say, okay, oh, comparing to him, I am better. I have a better family. I enjoy better health. Or I have a better job. But when we compare with God, that's where we realize who we are. You know, comparing to Jesus, how compassionate I am. Comparing to Jesus, how kind I am. Comparing to Jesus, um, how helpful I am. That's where we realize our unworthiness and strive to you know, uh, strive to live a life according to the values of the gospel. And, you know, the final, that's what, you know, when we, re uh, when we read the letters of Paul, the evening of his life, Paul would say, it's in no longer I who love, but Christ who loves in me. He identified himself fully, and completely with the Lord. As we continue this Eucharistic celebration, let's ask the grace from the Lord as we are going to receive him into our hearts that may enable us to grow more and more closer to him and like him. rise let's place our praise and petitions before the Lord asking his blessings for Francis our Pope William our Bishop and all the leaders of the church we pray to the Lord for compassion and love for one another our God is a merciful and compassionate God that people may experience the mercy from the Lord so, and be merciful to one another. We pray to the Lord for an increase of vocation to priesthood and consecrated life. We pray to the Lord for all those who are in need and have asked for our prayers we pray to the Lord, Lord for our parish family and well-being of all the parishioners. We pray to the Lord, Lord in the silence of our hearts. Let's place our personal intentions before the Lord. Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Doris Fila, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. God, a loving Father, we bring our praise and petitions before you. The liturgy of today reminds us that you are the teacher, you are the master. Grant us the grace that we may follow in your footsteps as we live our day-to-day -day lives. Make this prayer through Christ uh, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. 
Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer through the earth. Work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this wine and water, we may come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Through the wine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we please with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away our iniquities and cleanse us from our sins. sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. O oh God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty. And by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ uh, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world, that in your mercy, you send us a Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving things, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Or lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of a church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the world who live and reign forever and uh, ever. Amen. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, may the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to those who receive it, Lord Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, while of the Father and of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. Free me by your most holy body and blood from every sin and evil, and keep me always faithful to your commandments, and uh, never let me part from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Prayer for Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. 
Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and end over the life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and uh, ever. We shall pray together. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. Also would like to thank those who join us through the live stream and those who later participate through YouTube. Thank you and have a wonderful day.